This survey is a project on school free lunch programs. It's called Health Healthy Lunch Nutrition is Priceless. This project is for the class BDA 696, Smart Cities and Sustainability, supervised by Dr. Gabriela Fernandez. In California, the free school lunch program is known as the National School Lunch Program, NSLP. The program is a federally founded program that provides free or reduced price lunches to eligible students. The program was established in 1946 and is discriminated by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA. The program aims to improve the health and well-being of low-income children by providing them with nutritious meals. The program is available to students who attend public or private schools. To be eligible for the program, students must meet Certain income requirements. Students from families with incomes at or below 130% of the federal poverty level are eligible for free meals, while students from families with income levels 130 to 180% of the federal poverty levels are eligible for reduced price meals. Research goals. The United Nations has 17 sustainable development goals. This project meets with the San Diego goals number two, Zero Hungry, Goal Number 3, Good Health and Well-Being, and Goal Number 4, Quality Education. This research aims to conduct a feasibility study on implementing a healthier and improved school lunch menu. The research also aims to increase awareness that healthy school lunch is critical to children. Literature Review Research has shown that NSLP provides many benefits to students, particularly those from low-income families. One study done by Moore Willett in Fulgoni in 2015 found that students who participated in the NSLP had better dietary intakes and were less likely to be overweight or obese than non-participants. In 2011, Gunderson, Kreider, and Pepper's study found that the NSLP reduced food insecurity among low-income children and improved the academic performance. The NSLP also has benefits for schools. A study conducted by the Food Research and Action Center in 2017 found that schools that participated in the NSLP had higher test scores and lower absenteeism rates than must meet certain income requirements. Students from families with incomes at or below 130% of the federal poverty level are eligible for free meals, while students from families with income levels 130 to 180% of the federal poverty levels are eligible for reduced price meals. Research goals. The United Nations has 17 sustainable development goals. This project meets with the San Diego goals number two, zero hungry, goal number three, good health and well-being, and goal number four, quality education. This research aims to conduct a feasibility study on implementing a healthier and improved school lunch menu. The research also aims to increase awareness that healthy school lunch is critical to children. Literature review. Research has shown that NSLP provides many benefits to students, particularly those from low-income families. One study done by Moore Willett in Fulgoni in 2015 found that students who participated in the NSLP had better dietary intakes and were less likely to be overweight or obese than non-participants. In 2011, Gunderson, Kreider, and Pepper's study found that the NSLP reduced food insecurity among low-income children and improved the academic performance. The NSLP also has benefits for schools. A study conducted by the Food Research and Action Center in 2017 found that schools that participated in the NSLP had higher test scores and lower absenteeism rates than schools that did not participate. The survey methodology is, first, to find this research question, surveys given to high school students to describe food-related school lunch practices by handing out anonymous surveys, including questions about the school lunch environment and food-related practices. Second, identify the survey population. The survey includes eligible students in E3 civic high schools who have nearly 90% 60% students eligible for the free lunch program. Third, choose a sample. To use a random sampling technique to ensure that my sample is representative of the population. Fourth, create a survey instrument by generating open-ended questions. There are 12 questions about quality and variety of the food, the availability of options of those with dietary restrictions, and the overall experience of food program. 
fifth step. Administer the survey. I will use paper surveys and hand out paper survey questions in person. Six, analyze the data. I collect the survey responses, analyze the data using statistical software. Seventh, draw conclusions. Based on the results of the survey, draw conclusions about the food and feedback of free lunch programs in purpose to make awareness about the free lunch program improvements based on finding. Last, share the findings. Finally, share the findings of the survey with relevant stakeholders, school administrators, or community leaders to improve program outcomes. Data collecting. Source 1. Through the open data source website of California Department of Education, which contains the complete data files pertaining to K through 12 students in who are eligible for free or reduced price meals, FRPM. FRPM data are collected annually. Source two, 21 surveys collected in E3 Civic High School in April. Data visualization. The survey utilizes ArcGIS and PRISM to visualize data. The data from California Department of Education. After collecting the data set from the open source, I cleaned and selected San Diego Unified School District and school type as charter school. There are 41 charter schools in San Diego Unified School District selected. Imported the data set on ArcGIS, we can see geolocation and free lunch program count heat map. Here I have the visualization charts on FRPM students count by school name, percentage of free meals count by school name. The charts indicate the median percentage of the eligible free meal program in San Diego Unified School District. The arc map of free lunch programs in San Diego Unified School District. E3 Civic High School Survey. 59% of students in E3 Civic High School are eligible for California free lunch. While my data analysis shows the median free lunch percentage is 51.7% in San Diego Unified District. So E3 High School is a good place to do the survey. On April 26 and May 10, I went to observe the school lunch. Findings. By handing out anonymous surveys, 21 high school students conducted 12 questions to describe food-related school lunch practices and the overall experience of the lunch program. The free lunch is offered to all students, and about 60% of students have utilized free lunch at school. About 70% of students think the lunch program can help alleviate food insecurity. 95% of students think the portion size of the school lunch options are appropriate. 40% never take the free lunch at school. About 50% of students aren't satisfied with the quality of the food. 40% of the students would like to see more changes in the school lunch menu to make it more nutri nutritious. 60% think that school lunch needs to increase food quality. Nearly 45% of students don't think school is doing enough to promote healthy eating habits among students. Conclusion. Through the free school lunch survey at E3 High School, 21 students have completed the survey with 12 questions about their school lunch. There are some positive feedbacks that can be seen over the third survey, but some more concern and negative parts came out of the survey. Implications and discussions. School administration and experts should raise the awareness of improving school food quality. For instance, dietetic professionals who work in school settings should collaborate with other key school staff members and parents to develop and implement a comprehensive school nutrition policy. Such a policy could foster a school food environment that is supportive of helpful food choices among youth.